area baseball teams dominate in tonight's Lakeland Sports Best of the Week. We have four things for you tonight. And at number four, we have some really solid defense. From Thursday, Jordan Loyland of Bagley saves a run with his diving play at short. That kept the game tied as the Flyers were playing Norman County. Unfortunately for Bagley, though, its season would end later when the Wildcats won 8-4 in extra innings. At number three, it's the Aitken Gobblers. They took Section 7-2A last week and will play in the state baseball tournament for the first time in school history. Aitken beat Cloquet twice last Thursday to win the section, and the Gobblers will play Fairmont Thursday at Puttsfield in St. Cloud. Aitken's been around for over a hundred years. So this is the first time this school has gone to state. Congratulations to them. And at number two, it's another team that will play in the state tournament Thursday. Brainerd won section eight two way last week. The Warriors were never really threatened in their four wins a week ago, but Brainerd was not shown a lot of respect in the seeding process. The Warriors went unseeded and they will play top seeded Lakeville North Thursday at Midway Stadium in St. Paul. I think they should have at least gotten the five seed, but what do I know? And at number one, this happened earlier today. Former Lakeland Sports Director Dave Schwartz doing his best Happy Gilmore impression at the Randy Shaver Cancer Research Golf Event. Dave now works with Randy Shaver at CARE 11, of course, in Minneapolis. We even got some film of Dave teeing off with the hockey stick. And this is from his Instagram and his Twitter account. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.